Hello everyone, welcome to Fair Channel. Our topic today is specified skills visa for construction in Japan. Okay, let's start. Publicized in 2019 and revised in 2019, Japan has implemented a specified skills visa for the construction industry. This will be an advantage if you are considering to work in Japan since the revision helps foreign workers easily apply for construction jobs within the country. As a result of this revision, companies in both public and private sectors are expected to provide foreign workers with a support plan including housing, help towards learning the Japanese language and adopting the Japanese lifestyle. If by any chance the foreign worker gets terminated by their current employer even though they are still within their contract period, the employer is also responsible to relocate the foreign worker to a new company. Alongside this, these applicants will also have the chance to be a Japanese citizen with their family. So, what is the accepting organization for this type of visa and how do you apply? The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism MLIT, has been assigned to establish the guidelines for the specified skilled visa examinations. Then, based on their required guidelines, the MLIT selected the Japan Association for Construction Human Resources JACHR, to set up the needed examinations in 18 job categories under the construction industry. These 18 categories include carpentry, plumbing, machine operation, concrete firming, plastering, roofing, concrete plumbing, urethane spray firm insulation, scaffolding, marine civil work, tunnel and propulsion, steel reinforcement, thermal insulation, earthwork, reinforcing bar joints, electrical communication, surface and interior finishing and panel beating. So, who are qualified to apply? The target applicants for the specified skilled visa in the construction industry are as follows. Number one, we have current foreign employers in Japan who wish to continue their employment and have already completed the technical intern training number two and number three and have already experienced in construction work. Number two, we have foreigners with specific skills who are interested in getting a new job in Japan. Number three, we have foreign workers with specific skills who are currently in Japan whose employment contract has been cancelled due to the employer's liability. And number four, we have applicants who passed both the specified skills evaluation test and the Japanese language test. So, what qualifying exam do you need to take to meet the guidelines for applying to the visa? The first type of test you need to take is the specified skills evaluation test. There is two parts of this test. The first is the theoretical test. This is to examine the applicant's intellectual skills and it is comprised of 30 true or false questions with two or four multiple choice questions. Its passing score is at least 65%. The second test you will need to take is the Japanese language proficiency test. This is basically a Japanese language comprehension assessment to certify that the non-native speaker is able to communicate with their Japanese employers and that he or she is able to independently live in Japan. There are five levels in the Japanese proficiency test, from N5 being the easiest to N1 being the most challenging. To qualify for a specified skilled visa, you will need to have at least a N4 level. To take these two types of tests, you will need to go to the JACHR website to register as an applicant and check the schedule for the examination dates or apply online through the Foreign Employment Management System. Here are some important details you should know before applying to this type of visa. First, you will need to learn the Japanese language. In order to pass the Japanese language proficiency test N4, you will need to have a basic understanding of the Japanese language. Second, you should know that your educational background is not a standard requirement. As long as you are above 18 years of age and you have enough knowledge in your specified skill area, your educational background does not matter. Number three, check your submitted documents. 
For online applicants, make sure to scan your documents and convert it to a PDF file and your required pictures should be converted to a JPEG image. Number four, there is no guarantee deposits nor monetary penalties required. Foreign applicants for specified skilled visas are not required to pay for guaranteed deposits, even their family members who are qualified to have residency in Japan. Private agencies, brokers and other third parties are also forbidden to collect monetary penalties if employment contracts are not complete. Number 5. Beware of fraud. In your application process, make sure to reach out to only the legitimate sectors or agencies. If you have already submitted an application and are still under process, please note to only wait for the responses of the Regional Development Bureau, Hokkaido Regional Development Bureau or Okinawa General Bureau before proceeding on applying for the visa. They will definitely contact you once you are qualified for the specified skilled worker residency in Japan. For more information on how to apply for this type of visa, please click the link below. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching our video. See you!